And the, the area that we're really excited about where we see pricing going is one personalized. But I think the real magic is combining personalized pricing with personalized help. I just curious if you see that the combination. Of yeah, I mean, I think, and as I talked about yesterday, consumers are willing to pay a price premium for you know products that appeal to their health and wellness, and so I think I think there's a tremendous opportunity. You know, retailers in general have been great about using their private label to emphasize value to their customers. But I think on the flip side of that, and you see that as well, even in private label, you think about um, the Kroger Simple Truth, which is a now a $2 billion brand. And it's focused on organic, natural. And I think that that, you know, consumers are willing to pay a price premium for that. And in that regard, they go right up against these national brands that are much premium. That are, that are premium. So I think there's a tremendous opportunity to focus on health and wellness. And I think that you know, there's that fine balance between, you know, incenting a customer to stay kind of on their current path on what they're buying, personalizing meals and solutions for them based on what they're buying. But, you know, with today's AI and algorithms, I think there's, there's a way for retailers and manufacturers to help, help consumers improve their health and wellness. And, you know, you gotta be careful there because, you know, if you're, you're buying Oreos every week, I don't want to all of a sudden say, hey, maybe you want to buy the kale. But I think there's a lot of things that retailers can do to encourage you um, along your health and wellness journey. And, and consumers historically are willing to pay a price premium for that. Does the focus on health and wellness enable the retailer to get away from the race to the bottom and create a race to the top? I think that's a great concept. And I think that um, I think there's certainly an opportunity there. Marcia, we've been partnered with Nielsen for almost two years now. Um, for people not familiar with our partnership, can you describe to them the partnership and why it's important to Nielsen? Sure, I think it's a great unison because we track different things. Engage 3 tracks known price in the market, you know, subject retailer versus the competition, and Nielsen tracks market level pricing. And so the two are really important together, and the ability to track that gives us the ability to provide our retailers a complete package, a complete view of pricing, and how they can impact their price image from, from both comparisons. I've been really happy to partner with Nielsen. With my first company, we worked probably five years trying to partner with Nielsen. We never were able to accomplish it. But we always saw a lot of value in being able to integrate the Nielsen's market data with the price optimization yes. and the competitive intelligence. Yes. And we're seeing that that really provides a lot more value to our customers by integrating those. Yeah. And uh, the customer's been really receptive to how well we work together. Yeah, good. I agree. Good things take time. So I agree it's been a great partnership and the ability to provide more value for our retailers in a fast, scalable way. Well, Marcia, I really want to thank you for uh, taking the time today. We covered a lot of material. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity, Ken. I really enjoyed it. Well, thank you again.